flex on my ex. I look like mush. You look like mush. I was pulling him. He, he was pulling me. me. I was pulling him. And them. And them. You ready to go outside? No. Now, I just want to make one thing clear. I was actually self-quarantining myself before it was medically advised. But I've been freaking out because my fiance's family are on top of their shit. I'm talking about reading every single article available to them and directly messaging it to my fiance, who will then directly translate it and regurgitate this information straight into my ears non-stop. And so I haven't really been outside. His family was all free. His grandparents, his sister, both of his parents, they all had time off of work and school and stuff and my fiance invited them. He said, okay, well, why don't you guys come visit? I'll show you guys around LA. We'll go to the beach. We'll go get some nice food. And then his mom sent him articles about the health crisis and said, now we good. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Yeah? <laughs> I just want to show you guys something. This is what I'm making for lunch. This is my first time making it, but I have really high hopes. I've already prepped the ingredients. Woke we'll up early. We all get a dish and be on some shepherd's pie. What is shepherd's pie? I knew you were gonna ask that. Okay, <laughs> shepherd's pie is like this beautiful, delicious, beefy, potato-y vegetable pie inside of a pie crust. But the pie crust is a pastry puff. I'm gonna make a shepherd's pie with carrots, English peas, delicious, grass-fed, pasture-raised beef. Today's video is only with the help of Butcher Box. Butcher Box is one of those things where when you really think about it, you realize that you've been missing out because how many times have you gone to a grocery store looking for some good, healthy, grass-fed, organic, no hormone, no antibiotic given types of meat? And packaging is not gonna be one of those things where you stand at the grocery store. You're not really gonna know immediately if this chicken is good chicken. So you're stuck in this cold meat refrigerator line reading the packaging and you have no idea what it's saying. That's me. And ButcherBox has decided to do the homework for you and to ship it to your door so you don't have to leave the house. <laughs> Let me tell you about a guy named Mike. <laughs> a guy by the name of Mike started the brand ButcherBox because he was looking just days on end for some high quality meat for his friends and family. He even reached out to farmers directly and he felt like he never got precise answers. Finally, he decided to do all the work himself and to do the work for us too. I got four things of ground beef and then I also got this grass-fed beef premium steak tips. We also have these which are grass-fed beef strip loin steaks and then we also have this which is grass-fed beef flank steak and we also had a bottom roast that my fiance actually is working on and I specifically chose beef but they actually have a lot of different types of meat so they have 100% grass-fed pasture-raised beef but they also have a free-range organic chicken. They also have heritage bred pork, wild-caught Alaskan salmon so you have a lot of different ranges that you can choose from and they have two different boxes that you can choose from, which is the custom one, which is the one I did so that I could get all of the beef products that I wanted. So you can customize your beef if you want ribeye or filet mignon. And these are not very pricey at all for the quality that you're getting. Or you can actually get their mixed box, which means a bunch of people at Butcher Box, they curated a good selection, a variation of different meats. They put them all into a box and they'll ship it to you for free delivery, which is absolutely awesome. And it's super easy to custom. So they have two different sizes of boxes. You can even customize how often you get it. So let's say you're like, listen, I like to freeze my meat and get it once a month. You can do that. Or you can say, hey, how about every other month? And the subscription is super easy to work with. I hate working with subscription boxes that are like, you can never cancel unless you call us 24 times in the next 23 hours. Give us your firstborn child, hand over the keys to your car, and then we'll let you cancel. They are not like that. Their customer service is amazing. You can cancel at any time. You can pause your service if you're going out of town. And the best part is, if you guys click the link in the description, you guys get $20 off your first box. But also, they've told me not to say this, but like, this is how I see it a lot of ground beef for free like for a lifetime for the lifetime of your subscription with every single box that you get delivered to your door you get two pounds of ground beef for free that's this in every single box that you do. That's insane to me. Make sure to check the link in the description because they're not gonna cheapen on on the quality. This is grass-fed, 100% pasture-raised, humanely raised, antibiotic-free, hormone-free, ground beef. 
I'm sorry, I'm gonna make a shepherd's pie because I'm getting too riled. So thank you ButcherBox for sponsoring today's video and let's get started with the cooking. Grab half of an onion, throw it onto your chopping board. No crying. Crying's for whips. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I like the seal, crying. Get your butcher box ground beef that you got for free. If you use the link in my description, two pounds of this. We're gonna brown it on the stove, but I'm not gonna show you that because the stove is over there. So ready? Dude, that's not a transition. What's a good transition? I'm gonna show you guys what I got going on in here. I got some browned beef, not completely brown yet, with all of my onions. I added some pink salt. This is garlic and black pepper. You can mince your garlic. And if you're ever out of time, just get dry time. <laughs> now we mix. Oh my gosh, it smells so good! Add in your beef stock. I got English peas and carrots. Add in your tomato paste. Now you mix. Once that's mixed in, we're gonna add in some flour to thicken it up. Also, this is my first time making shepherd's pie. <laughs> we get the pie dish. Mine's a little shallow. You can get a deeper one if you feel like being deep and introspective today. And then we're gonna throw in, fill it up halfway with this little beef concoction that we've made. Grab your mashed potatoes and just kind of top it. Flatten it out a little bit. I know what you're thinking. It doesn't look appetizing, honey. But you know what? Trust me, when it's out of the oven, well, I wouldn't know because I rarely eat shepherd's pie. And now you're gonna top it with some cheese. Most People do cheddar cheese. I liked Gouda cheese. So it's gonna be Gouda today. You cover it with a pre-made puff pastry. <laughs> We're going to trim off the edges right here with some scissors, Korean style. And then grab a knife, cut some holes. Cut some holes. Honey! I like to do three holes. I got a nice egg wash. We're just going to kind of egg wash it up. You know what I mean? Pop it into the oven for 30 minutes. Eventually. Listen, it looks like it's not the most delicious thing in the world, but it smells like it's the most delicious thing in the world. To be fair, I think it's all the puff pastry's fault. It's all puff daddy's fault, bitch. Going to open up a puff pastry. Lots of patatters. Where's my beloved ground beef? Oh my god. It's so good. I just wanted to let it be known by anyone and everyone who's watching this that if I had the option to wife myself up, I would do it after tasting this. Oh my gosh, look at that ground beef. That okay. doesn't seem cooked. It doesn't look like that. Honey, that's mashed potato. Oh, look like mush. You're, you look like mush. Is it good? Mm-hmm. The potatoes and meat so good. Tell me what you think though. I'll be waiting. This is... Mm. Delicious. <laughs> really? Really? What was the word? Hardful? Hardy. This is hardy as fuck. I would never volunteer to eat that by the look of that. <laughs> Okay, so here's what's going on. Like I said, we are just sticking together like a pack last couple of days, probably a week now, that we've got all three of us in the kitchen, that he is going to make my favorite Taiwanese beef noodle soup. He's gonna be making it. It's kind of gonna be a romantic dinner, but I guess with all three of us, because nobody's leaving the house. But I thought that before you do that, maybe we could practice something, because I feel like we don't have this a lot in our relationship. So I Googled best romantic things to say to your girlfriend to make her swoon and now you're just gonna repeat it after me and say it to me while you're like cooking and then you can tell it over dinner again right I plan on being with you until forever ends I plan on being with you until forever ends. you plan on bleeding with me <laughs> until forever ends my thoughts are free to go anywhere but it's surprising how often they head in your direction these are the worst pickup lines. Say, so, my thoughts are free to go anywhere. My thoughts are free to go everywhere, but my bodies are stuck here. <laughs> <laughs> are we done here? All right, I'm a vlog. I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging. Oh. Hello, I'm a vlogging. We're sorry. Today, I'm gonna be demonstrating how I make a very- You don't make this. <laughs> what do you mean? Isn't this your first time making this? Yes, it is, but this is how I prepare a very romantic dinner. I do this all the time. So the first step is I put on my beloved apron. Now I have my apron on. Second step is I bring on my beloved candle because every romantic dinner needs a beloved candle. Wait, you're supposed to light that like when you we eat dinner, not- Oh, I need it now. This one is stress relief. And I'm gonna light this. We don't have a candle lighter. But that's not romantic. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is that worth the smell of burning paper? Do you smell any burning paper? I don't think so. 
stress. Worth the risk. Guys, guys. Today, we're gonna be making Stephanie's favorite Chinese braised beef noodle soup. We have a big pot of water right here. I'm gonna link all the recipes down below. Hey, did you like that? Honey. And uh, the first step is I'm gonna chop up some green onions. Cut up some ginger, some stars, throw those in. And then this is the meat we're using today. It's a grass-fed beef bottom round roast. I'm gonna throw this whole piece of meat into the water along with all these green onion, ginger, and star. Hello. What are you doing now? <laughs> I need more of this candle. <laughs> Stress. So while the meat is getting cooked, I'm gonna start prepping for the next step. These are all the ingredients we need for the broth. So I'm gonna knock it twice. Now I just magically chop everything by double tapping that subscribe button. So five minutes of boiling is up. It smells so good. Wow. Now you're supposed to rinse it in cold water. You wanna cut it into chunky slices. So the inside is still not fully cooked yet. What are you doing right now? I don't need a backup dance for this. <laughs> This is a wok. Half cup. Chinese don't really use measurements. We just kind of eyeball it. And now we cook it till the onions start to become translucent. And now we have dark soy sauce for coloring. It's been 10 minutes of stir fry, right? I don't know if you guys do this, you always taste it. Well, Make sure. taste no, that. you have to taste it. Yeah. No, you have to. It's hot. No. Oh, it's so good. Isn't wow, it good? It's so good? We're gonna pour all of that into this pot, fill it up with water, boil it two hours plus. And now we're just gonna simmer it for a few hours. Here's what's going on. My fiance is currently <coughs> vlogging. <laughs> That's a sentence I never thought yeah. I'd say. But I decided to put on AirPods and learn some TikTok dances on my phone, but you guys won't hear the music. Nobody will hear the music but me. But I'll be doing TikTok dances. I got some LED strips. Oh my God, I'm a TikToker. Blue, pink, red, pink, green. <laughs> Maybe you should sing it. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Oh, can you sing? She can sing. Hold up, hold up. Let me catch my breath. Let me count these chicks. Flex on my eggs. Where's the respect? Pull up in a G thing. Skr, skr. Nobody? All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this free show. Make sure to follow me on TikTok at Mr. Make a Butt. Mr. <laughs> Miss Make a Butt. It was taken already. Shout out to whoever took that. <laughs> This is hour five of simmering. Do you want to see this? Are you ready? Yes. What does our house smell like? Mm, it smells like a Chinese restaurant. Whoa. Whoa. The next step will be cooking the noodle as well as some bok choy and then plate the whole thing. First, you place the noodle. Some steamed bok choy. I'm going to do one right here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put in the soup. It's I don't know why this soup is kind of black. Finally, some green onion and some cilantro. A homemade braised beef noodle soup. Yes, sir. Here you go, man. This is braised beef noodle soup, house specialty. Oh my god. Can we look god. at the presentation first? Oh, give us a, yeah. Give us a review yeah. on yeah. that. Yeah, okay, so the presentation, I see the cilantro, I see the noodles, I see the broth bok choy. The beef looks so good. Honestly, I would say that the presentation is better than Din Tai Fung. Give me a good slurp. You gotta give a good slurp on this. That's a good slurp. Mm. What is that? Mm. Mm. Wow. Look at this beef. The peels. Peels apart. How is it though? Oh my god, this beef would also be perfect for changjurim. It's the Korean soy sauce beef flank. You know what I'm oh, talking about? Yeah, Look at yeah. it, it looks like changjurim a little bit. Do you want a bite? I do. <laughs> wow. Mm. Mm -hmm. Give your honest review. Oh, that is hearty and good. Is it more hearty than the Shepherd's pie. Yeah, this is like so rich, like mm -hmm. beef rich. Yeah, it's pretty but rich. But it's so boo -boo. good. Yeah, Hardy means really... you feel like this one has more love. Hardy means like it's a sense of 
heaviness, but not like in a bad way. Hearty, like it's just like a lot of flavor. That's a lot of description, Justin. That's really good. I'm trying to give it to you. <laughs> beef is so tender. The beef is from Butcher Box. <laughs> <laughs> Let me do it Chinese way. Ready? You don't really use spoons to drink. Don't you guys eat ramen like this or no? My mom would get mad if a plate ever lifted the from the table. Oh. I never slurped because Neither. like it's rude. They slurp the crap out of it. I feel like slurping feels very homey. So you only slurp around your mom and yeah, grandma. Yeah. I'm gonna give you guys the lowdown, okay? My okay. mom only slurps ramen, but if she were eating like a beef noodle soup, this is my mom. She likes to spend hours twirling it onto a spoon <laughs> like this. No oh. slurp. This is how I used to eat before I met you and started getting on my slurp game. Ready? Mm -hmm. Not a peep. And then my sister, she's an OG Korean. She slurps. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, she goes. But it's not a hearty slurp. If you were comparing her slurps to a lot of people, it wouldn't be a satisfying slurp, you know? But it's still a slurp. And I think that I have food coma. That was honestly one of the thickest beef stews that I've ever consumed in my entire life. But leave it in the comments, did it look good? Would you ever eat Stefiance's beef stew? Why does that sound so inappropriate? Would y'all ever eat his beef noodle soup beets, his Chinese beef I'm sorry, <laughs> this is not going well. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Let me know in the comments whose dish you think looked so much better. Was it the shepherd's pie? Or did the beef noodle soup look just so Make sure to check out ButcherBox linked in the description. Especially right now, I know that a lot of people are slowly starting to not try to go out as much unless they have to. And like I said, ButcherBox will ship to your house with free shipping. And if you guys use my link, you guys get $20 off. And on top of that, you get ground beef for free for life. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh.